R O J. R O J. R O J. It kind of sounds like um, we're just asking for our orange juice. Our OJ. Hello and welcome to FTTR, I am Ewan McQuaid and today we are talking about AEW, particularly we are talking about ROH and Chris Jericho, what's happening with Chris Jericho at the moment on AEW Dynamite, the whole ROH situation at the moment, the Ring of Honor situation and a lot of the stuff that's going down, we're going to talk about that, we're going to get into a deep dive into it and yeah, please hit subscribe for more wrestling content, hit the button right there possibly somewhere on my face if I'm good at this, but please hit subscribe because it would mean a lot. I'm trying to get 300 subs, that would be nice. So, Ring of Honor at the moment. What's going on with Ring of Honor? Not a lot, quite frankly. Ring of Honor at the moment is just a set of belts. You've got the ROH Championship, the ROH TV Championship, ROH Tag Team Championships, which we haven't seen really since the Briscoes, I think, was the last time they were defended, maybe. And the ROH Women's Championship, I can't even remember who holds it. I think, I think it's Mercedes Martinez. It's across my face, if I am wrong. But yeah, this episode of Dynamite, though, sort of reinvigorated the Ring of Honor storyline and everything that's going on with Ring of Honor. So Chris Jericho is the Ring of Honor World Champion. He has won the belt from Claudio um, last week at Grand Slam. And today we've got a big showcase for ROH. We've got a big ROH championship celebration at the beginning. And we've got a big match with Bandido at the end in which Jericho talked about the Ring of Jericho and destroying, desecrating Ring of Honor. I think, so I'm in two halves of this storyline. On the one hand, I think it is a tremendous, brilliant storyline. The idea of Chris Jericho going after all the Ring of Honor champions like potentially Punk, taking out Danielson, taking out Roosh, taking out Adam Cole is mouth-watering to me, leading to the eventual dethroning of Chris Jericho at the hands of Daniel Garcia. That is the only way I can see this playing out and that is mouth-watering. That is an incredible prospect, an incredible storyline, incredible piece of just storytelling in general. My downside to this is if this was happening on a Ring of Honor TV show, it would be incredible. It would be one of the best stories of the year. But it's not. It's happening on AEW Dynamite. And that just doesn't mesh with me. Because I feel like it's just a bit of a missed opportunity. Because if you had say, an inaugural episode of Ring of Honor, and Chris Jericho comes out as champion, and he cuts this promo about how he's going to tear Ring of Honor down, it's going to be a place where sports entertainers are bred, where they're cultivated, where he makes sports entertainers from the ground up, and you could have guys like Wheelie Uter and Brian Danielson and that Blackpool Combat Club feud play out in Ring of Honor on a weekly basis. I think that works so much better than having it on AEW Dynamite, where AEW Dynamite is already spread too thin in terms of championships and storylines that they're trying to tell. This is a Ring of Honor feud that is being crammed onto AEW Dynamite, and it might be a great feud, but I don't think it fits in the AEW landscape. Because Ring of Honor has been just been treated like an afterthought. There haven't really been video packages or promos or anything to sort of hype up the Ring of Honor legacy and that is where I feel like this story needs to get over. This needs to be taking place on a weekly TV show because I think that's just, it just fits. It's a perfect, perfect story for Ring of Honor TV and it would be a great way to start off a new era of Ring of Honor with Jericho as champion, Danielson chasing the belt and this bubbling away story with Daniel Garcia. On weekly Ring of Honor TV, I think that'd be perfect. However, it's just not sitting right with me on AEW because the AEW World Championship should have main evented the show. I get bookending it with a Ring of Honor title match and a um, Ring of Honor segment at the beginning 
but having the world championship match or elimin- eliminate a match sorry world championship eliminate match which is basically it's a, it might as well just be a world title match I don't really like the eliminator concept that much should have main evented the show it doesn't feel like it feels like the world championships are all over the place and they need to be distinguished and separated okay do you get me am I making sense let me know in the comments but yeah ring of honor I'm hoping I think it's final battle is the next show that will be taking place towards the end of the year I am hoping slash praying that we get a TV deal announced and you can sort of shift a lot of the ROH focus onto an ROH TV show because just some some of the stories on Dynamite are being swept to the side like where's Miro where's Darby Allen? They're just cutting video packages and they're having matches on Rampage, which is a show that doesn't tremendously mean a lot. It doesn't, because if it meant a lot, they would have recaps for Rampage on Dynamite, but you hardly get them. Unless they're on a different feed, they're not on the fight feed, you barely get sort of recaps of Rampage and anything that happens. It feels inconsequential. Take, for instance, okay, this this isn't going to be an AW bashing party, but... The World Championship match. You have Hangman Page versus John Moxley. Hangman Page comes out to confront John Moxley. If you were, if you have not watched Rampage, you would have no idea that Hangman is the number one contender. It is barely mentioned. Hangman Page just comes out and confronts John Moxley, which I feel like is a misstep. You can't assume people are watching every single bit of content you are putting out and that is the biggest issue that AEW has faced they assume people are watching everything but they are not and it's just so bloated and spread too thin taking the ROH stuff out of Dynamite I think would let a lot of things breathe better and feel more consequential where's Jade Cargill on the shows, where are Death Triangle on the shows, we Kip Sabian was built up for a year to be beaten. You see what I mean? See what I'm getting at? But, but, if they can secure a TV deal, if going forward ROH can become a feeder system for AEW, or just an entirely separate promotion that helps bolster AEW, helps them get a streaming deal, helps them get a big platform to showcase, get a lot of money, get the money rolling in, then I think it's worthwhile but a lot of the ROH stuff that's taking place on Dynamite I feel is taking away from AEW stuff that should be happening on Dynamite like your Miro's, your Jade Cargill's, your Darby Allen's, your Ethan Page's all those people that are sort of being lost in the shuffle because the Acclaimed had a promo, a backstage promo this week they are the most overact in the company and they should be you know, focused on. Where was some FTR stuff? Now, and I get, I get 100% my heart goes out to everyone in America with the hurricane that is taking place. You can't get everyone over there, but it just felt very spread thin to me. This was an episode where I was like, okay, they need to do something with Ring of Honor and they need to do it now because it's just bloating. I just feel like it's so bloated at the moment and there's not a lot of focus going into AEW Dynamite. But the Ring of Jericho stuff, to wrap that up, because this has been a bit of a tangent, a bit of a rambly video, I apologise. The Ring of Jericho stuff is great. I just feel it needs to play out on Ring of Honor TV and that would be an incredible first six months of television having this looming sports entertainer figure trying to take control of a pure wrestling promotion. That is a fantastic story and a pretty ingenious idea that has not been capitalised on while on AEW because you can't do a lot of the stuff that I think is needed for that. For instance, you could have Jericho completely change the layout. Imagine he goes to Ring of Honor, changes all the set dressing to 
bright neon colors like NXT 2.0 was. There's just so much stuff he could do in that sort of sandbox, in the ROH sandbox, that I feel like he can't do on AEW. So having him go over to a Ring of Honor TV show would be fantastic. Fantastic. A great six months of TV with the Ocho as Ring of Honor champion. Those are my honest thoughts on the Ring of Jericho story and ROH as it stands right now. But I want to know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know, am I in the minority here? Do you like what they're doing with ROH at the moment in AEW? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll try and apply to every single one of you. Thank you all ever so much for your support and have a nice day.